Well, I don't know how we're going to condense this into a few uh, seconds, but we'll give it a go. Simon Reiker led the field away at the start of the race, and it was Diego Mancheco who was charging through on the inside of Sam Dehan. Uh, but it was uh, Pietro Perolini that had the disaster at the start in the Oregon Lamborghini getting spun round, while Giuseppe Cipriani made it through the gravel. The motor park car came through up on the inside to take the lead in the early stages and absolutely checked out. Unfortunately for Mikhail Patamba, the SPS Automotive's uh, Mercedes day was rather undone by this contact with Maximilian Paul. He was given a five second penalty uh, for that. Battles raged on and Bernaldi showing an absolute turn of form here after a very difficult uh, Portimao ended up fighting for the overall podium. The GT Cup cars provided plenty of action as well. This was the Q1 track racing Porsche getting past one of the SV cars, while the other SV car was uh, getting very rather close to Fran Marida's McLaren. Eddie Cheever and Marco Polcini were long-time race leaders of this event, uh, but rather because of uh, strategies on the safety car. Perfect spinning here from two uh, Porsche Cup cars after contact into the uh, final corner. The Volcano car ended up coming away with the win uh, regardless. Contact further down amongst the Cup cars and some of the GT3 cars, uh, but uh, this was the battle for the podium in the closing stages and the battle for what ended up being the Cup lead uh, with the Cup leader uh, shortly after this retiring from the race. They went down to the absolute wire with Christopher Hasser clambering over every curb and using every runoff area to find a way past Charlie Fagg, but he could not do it to the deficit of 60, uh, 67 thousandths of a second. They gave Optimum Motorsport a very dramatic victory.